Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to doing a full face, so from scratch to glam. So I'm going to be doing for you a very wearable like Valentine's Day night out appropriate makeup look. As you can see I have a few like friends joining me today. So I thought I'd do like my acne coverage routine for a glam look as well because I know on Valentine's Day is when you want to look your best for your partner and you don't really want your face having these little guys on them so I thought why not incorporate that into this makeup look I'll also keep it very affordable products for you guys so I'll use all affordable makeup that you can get at the drug Ooh, sorry that you can get at the drugstore but yeah so without further ado let's get to <laughs> makeup shall we so for primer today guys, I'm going to take my Australis primer. This is the original a primer, I guess it says. Basically it prevents foundation fading, smooths and refines the skin and is moisturising. It smells really good too. Okay, so a little trick I like to do because I am quite an oily skin girl and that moisture that moisturizer and that primer isn't a like mattifying primer. I like to go in with a matte like pressed powder and I'll just dust that over my t-zone lightly. Keep that in mind, I'm doing it very lightly just to kind of mattify like create a barrier on those areas to stop the oil seeping through and wearing down the foundation so it won't last as long. So that's just an, a little tip for you guys who do get quite oily and like I said I'm not using a whole lot I know you're not supposed to apply powders. You're not supposed to apply powders before foundation, but I'm breaking that rule with just that little step of applying just a light, light layer. Like I said, just create a little barrier. By the way, this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder in the shade 100 Transparent. Next for foundation, I'm tossing. I'm tossing up between using my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation or my fit me matte and poreless they're both drugstore so either one is good i'll just take my fit me and what i like to do is spritz my sponge with a little bit of setting spray to dampen it and it also helps lock in the foundation for a longer period of time because the setting spray is kind of mixing in and setting it in place so this foundation is 100% a little bit too light for me it's in the shade i think creamy beige whereas i'm medium beige but that's okay we'll just bronze up and everything I'm not too phased so I have done a more in-depth like acne coverage video or videos I've done a fair few of them if you would like to check them out this one I'm probably not gonna like do as heavy like duty coverage as I did on those other videos because I don't want it to be super duper like I don't know caked on they are pretty red though so I could have done a little bit more coverage oh well that's kind of how much coverage I want. I'm like for a Valentine's Day date or look or anything like that. I actually prefer to go like like more of a sexy sultry look and not like a full coverage 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 look. For concealer I'm going to take this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moin. And literally I'm just applying it to my inner corners just here where you get the most discoloration. Applying it to those breakouts and I'll also prime my eyelids as well and then just blending it out so I like to just keep the concealer just focused on this inner corner area because I find if I have too much product sitting here I get such bad creasing for these breakouts I'm literally not touching any of that concealer over the top of them I'm just feathering out the edges of that so it just kind of like tapers into the skin but the most coverage is still on top of those breakouts and then I'm going to grab my translucent powder again from Rimmel the stay matte one and on my dry beauty sponge from Chi Chi I'm just going to press that into my skin so for brows you guys have seen me use the same brow products through my brows like a million and one times <laughs> oh, I love using the Master Brow Pro Palette in the shade soft and dark brown so I'm just gonna quickly whip through my brows real quick and I'll be right back mm-hmm bike so basically I just filled in my brows did the usual did a little bit of carving out with concealer I'm going to go in with my Ardell clear brow gel and I'm just brushing those through my brow hairs to stick them down 
to glue them in place and keep them nice and neat. So to quickly bronze up the complexion, of course I'm going in with the usual NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and those same two brown shades that I always use to bronze up my skin uh, just for this affordable makeup look. I'm going to take my Chi Chi Tapered Bronzer Brush. So tell me guys if you have any plans for Valentine's Day, the big V Day. I'm going to be away in Queensland. So hopefully I can vlog a bit for you guys while I'm up there, up north. But if you guys have any plans with your partner or like friends or if you don't do anything at all because you think it's overrated, like let me know what you have planned. I always love hearing what you guys have got set out for your day. And for a bit of light contouring, I'm just going to take this... I'm going to take this breakup powder. Um, it's a cool tone brown, so it's perfect to contour and create a nice shadow on the cheeks. This is from Makeup Geek, by the way. And I'm just taking a fan brush and just kind of wiggling that product quite lightly in between my cheekbones. And then just soften it a little bit. I like literally never contour these days unless I haven't bronze. It's either like I'll bronze or I'll contour. But I mostly bronze, so I don't really contour. I haven't used this technique in a while, but damn, it always looks good when I do. Okay, so for blush today, or well, maybe I'll do eyes and then I'll do the rest of the skin afterwards. That's an idea. Wow. Okay, so I'm thinking like a sexy, kind of smoky liner look. I think those are so easy to do. They're so beautiful and they're something like nice for Valentine's Day, I think. It's very complimentary on the eye. Okay, initially for my transition shade in the crease, just to give a bit of depth to the eye, I'm going to take Beaches from the Faux Calore palette on a 221 Soft Crease Brush from Zueva. I'm just applying that through my outer crease. Just a soft wash of that brown. So next one I'm going to do is grab a black eye coal. So this one's from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade Obsidian. And I'm just going to kind of just place that along my outer corner lash line area. I'm just going to do one eye at a time so that I can like smudge it out before it dries. And then taking the shade Mount Eliza from the same palette on a Morphe M326 brush. I'm just going to smudge out that black coal liner. And just switching to a pencil brush to soften it out a little bit. Just something soft, but very like smoky and sexy. And then doing the same thing on the other eye. So initially just placing down that black eye coal. Just keeping it about a third, two thirds of the way across, so not bring it into my inner corner. I just want to keep it on the outer skirts, you know, the outer corner. And buffing it out with Mount Eliza. And softening it with that pencil brush. So it's not so harsh on the edges. I love just how much lift it gives to the eyes. Mm. Mm. And it's actually like a two step eye makeup look and you're like good to go. So easy, so simple. Everything you want in a makeup look. So next I'm going to place on some mascara to my eyes. This is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. You can leave it with your natural lashes if you'd prefer. I shall go in with false lashes today though, I think. So the lashes I've chosen to go in with today are the House of Lashes Bambi style. I think they're a little bit of fun. They're not too intense. They complement the eye quite well. And then they're a different kind of lash. I've been using the same ones lately, so I thought I'd like to change it up a little bit. One that I would have loved to have used and is drugstore, however, is the Ardell Demi Wispies. Those are so beautiful and would go so well with this eye look. However, I seem to have misplaced those, so that's another option for you guys for drugstore wise. I also like this like pair of lash too because it is a clear lash band so you can't see it sitting on the lash line. It's not as obvious. But yeah. So finally I'm just going to add a nude eye coal to my bottom waterline. So I'm going in with the Models Prefer Nude Eye Coal. It's a very affordable eye coal and it's so good as well. It's really pigmented. I'm then grabbing a very thin detailed brush and some of Beaches. I'm just wiggling that closely against my bottom lash line just to give a little bit of definition. Nothing too obvious, just something very subtle. And I'm just going to quickly put on some mascara on my bottom lashes. 
And that concludes the eye makeup. So quick and easy and so, I find just so beautiful as well for a date night. Okay, so to finish off the skin before we move on to the lips, I'm going to go in with my Folklore Blush. It's very affordable, this brand. That's why I love it so much, if I haven't mentioned already. And this is the Silky Powder Ombre Blush in the shade Tequila Sunrise. It's a beautiful corally blush. So it's very warm on the skin. So summery and spring appropriate. And I like to just dust it on my nose a little bit too. So for the highlight, I'm going to take a couple different highlights today just to be a bit of fun. I'm going to take this gorgeous pink highlight from the Folklore Superstar Highlighter Palette. I'm just applying that to the cheeks for a bit of something fun for Valentine's Day. A bit of a pink highlight. And I'm also applying that to my brow bone as well. It's actually quite a beautiful highlight. It's not so in your face pink. It's kind of actually almost golden with little flecks of pink in there. So it really suits this eye look quite well. So I'm just applying it to the very high points of the brow. And then taking the star highlight from the palette, I'm just applying that to the very high points of the cheeks. And that star highlight can go to my inner corners. Ooh, damn, son. And that is the skin done and dusted. Mm. I love how glowy this highlight is. It's so beautiful, especially with that pink one. It's so fun. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go on to our lips. And I'm thinking a sexy red colour. I think red is just so iconic for Valentine's Day. And I did the eyes quite like soft and sultry, so I think a red would tie in so well with this eye look. I'm going to go in with my OXX Studio Lip Liner in the shade Hannah. So it's just a red lip liner. And I'm just going to line my lips with that and fill them in a little bit. Filling in the outer points, kind of like an ombre. So I have like a few different lip colour options on like what red to go in with. I think this is succulent from Colourpop. It's a little bit too fire engine red like a Valentine's Day look. So I'm torn between like the two folklore ones. Do I want like a really deep burgundy or do I want like a softer, more orangey kind of red? I think I might go in with this one today. So we're going to take the lipstick from Folklore in the shade Who's Next and apply that over top. So it's up to you if you want to use a lip gloss uh, with your lip colour on Valentine's Day. I mean, I'm more of a gut no, because I'd rather something that's matte and that will stay on while I'm drinking, eating, smooching, all that kind of stuff. So it is up to you. Well, I actually really do like that colour. Ooh, damn. But yeah, I think I might keep it just with this like matte lipstick, but it is up to you what you'd prefer to use like a lip gloss over top. But otherwise, guys, this concludes today's Valentine's Day makeup look. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on this video. If you did like it, please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel to join my YouTube fam and stay up to date with all my latest videos, makeup tutorials, vlogs, everything like that. I hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day, whether you're doing something or not. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.